Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came to him and said, You also were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before all of them, saying, I do not know what you're talking about. When he went out to the porch, another servant girl saw him, and she said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again, he denied it with an oath. Man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly, you are also one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to curse, and he swore an oath, I do not know the man. And at that moment, the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. She had seen him. Yes, she knew she had seen him before. This right-hand man of Jesus of Nazareth, earnest in his devotion, sincere in his service, loud around the campfire. Then why was he here? Why was he not with Jesus now? In this time of chaos, in his time of need, was this all a ruse? Jesus, that Galilean man, she had heard stories. He was a new kind of teacher. He could heal people. He walked on water and saved someone who tried but could not. He talked with that woman. Jesus, he scared her leaders, but not others. Thousands of others, people like her. And you, you, you got to be with him every day. Why then? Why are you here and not with him? Peter, blessed and beloved of Jesus, partner in pivoting history and her story, now caving in crisis, publicly, first to this girl, then to more, and finally to all. Denial affirmed by swearing. Two choices his teacher had forbidden him. Who was he? What had he become? What was he escaping? What hell had he now entered? Today I thank God for this servant girl who, whatever her motives and define the social norms of her day, saw Peter, raises a mirror, and bravely asks him why. And I thank God for young people everywhere who, at personal risk, are seeking truth and using their voices to shock me and their elders into self-recognition and repentance. The Malalas, the Gretas, Jesus' own mother, Mary, and those in our midst right now. And thank God for Peter the devoted disciple who falls, remembers, and weeps.